So, what's the good news? Uh, what's, what's new in your life? What's, uh, what's exciting in your life right now? These are usually kind of the questions I ask everybody when I see someone and I just want to know how they're doing. And I know how easy it is for all of us to just think about what's wrong in our lives, right? I mean, you look at the world around us and you start to think about how easily it is to talk about all the bad stuff, all the bad news. Like, I haven't been in church in weeks and I'm wondering when we can come back. I haven't been working. Uh, whenever I go to the store, I have to glove up, put mask on, and get in all these lines here together. And my kids, well, they're just driving me insane. I mean, really, this is about our mindset, right? I mean, this is about our well, way of we're facing reality. But I think it's sometimes we just forget to face reality by looking through the lens of faith. Kind of reminded in the Bible in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13, that says, prepare your minds for action. Keep sober in spirit. Fix your hope on the grace completely that's brought to you by the revelation of Jesus Christ. So fix your gaze on Jesus. Be fixated on the Lord Jesus Christ and how he can help you. So let hope move in you. Let faith be stirred in you. Get your minds right, get your minds ready as you have the mind of Christ and deep down inside in your spirit as you're trusting in his wisdom and knowledge that you're being prepared, preparing yourself with a love and a, and a calmness and a peace because you know God's about to be ready to move in your life. So I challenge you to be a good news person. I mean, really start to think to yourself, I'm in good health here. Wait a minute. I remember how much I just complained about not spending time with my spouse and my kids. Now I'm doing that. And I uh, reorganized my life. I reprioritized everything because I used to have all these distractions. And I have done nothing else but devoted myself more into the reading of God's word and into prayer. Yeah, God's really taking good care of us here. So this week, again, I dare you to take your life, that you look at it with great faith. So what's the good news? Well, be blessed this week. We'll see you soon.